Hello, I'm Josh Gishman. I'm going to be talking about NFL draft strategy. Now, you have to understand that you can either stay at your pick in the NFL draft, move up, but there's a cost that, and I'll explain about that, and you can move back, and you can get more picks. Now, when a player gets traded for draft picks, that team might not want that player because A, ego is too big, B, they look in the future, they see that NFL draft is stacked at that position, and for less money, and they can improve their whole team as a whole, they can, for example, trade a top player that might not fit right now, get, he's getting a little older, contract's too big, to a team that can accumulate that big contract because they have enough salary cap. So that team that has a lot of salary cap and they need like a wide receiver for example and they see the free agent market all the top wide receivers are gone. Or it's a very thin free agency class. So they'll try to trade and they'll be able to take on that salary. So the team that wants to trade and get picks is going to want a heavy price, usually, because if he's a top player, they want something in return that they can think that they believe can turn into the equal amount for that player in the future. But that is very risky. A, you're getting rid of a surefire player that you know has produced in the NFL, and also the player in college you do not know who is going to be available at that time. You don't know what's going to happen. You're forecasting. You're just assuming. It's not concrete. Also, for example, this year, the Detroit Lions traded back to 20th, from the 23rd to 20th pick. Now, and they got Lakin Tomlinson in the, for, but in the first round. So what they said is, let's get a few more picks because we need them. And we can trade back and still get a player that we want. So when a team looks at their draft board and they see five, ten guys that they like down the list, they say, hey, now we'll trade back. We can accumulate more picks. We can later maybe even turn that into something better. And we can still get a player that we want. So that's the basics there. Also, during the trade deadline, it, it played, it's a huge factor with the draft beforehand because a team might look at the draft and say, I don't need that veteran right now. It's an expiring contract. I, I see that there's the Jameis Winston or Marcus Mariota on the board, a franchise quarterback. So I'll trade somebody that I think might have some trade value. I can get a third, fourth round pick. And in a deep draft, I can get a very good player at that pick. So instead of having a, fra a franchise quarterback or quarterback that you might, it might not fit, or he can fit, you trade him, you get more picks, and you see in the draft, you can get a franchise quarterback. So you're getting, it's a higher risk and because you, you're projecting on the draft, but it's a higher reward because if that draft pick works out, then the reward is higher than if you don't do anything. So that's the basics of NFL draft strategy, and I hope that was enough. I'm done.